How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is how to make coins December edition So there's some new ways and uh, things I think you definitely you guys should know if you guys are enjoying the content Though make sure you leave a like on the video here Subscribe and also follow me on twitch as I'm, I'm live there every single day 2 p.m. Eastern again Make sure you subscribe best NHL content. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's get into it now and starting off with some advice all right, so some things that maybe honestly are not maybe things you think of. So I would say make sure you definitely do your weeklies because honestly, those after like three or four K, I mean, I know it's not much, but you know, it's four or five K a week potentially on that. Um, I don't know. I think, I think it's definitely worth doing. And of course your daily as well. I mean, it, it all adds up. I mean, it's very little by little, but it's things you definitely could do to earn some extra coins. And I know it's definitely not a ton for the dailies, especially, but you know, it's just kind of there. So my milestones as well, I mean, not many coin ones, but there has been a, a few coin uh, rewards. I think I, I think I got one uh, just recently for Rivals games played or something like that, or, or, or it might have been objectives or something, but I, I know I got 10k pretty recently, and it was, yeah, it was 400 objectives. I mean, it's just, just playing the game, you'll get coins, so that's just one thing I'll say. So yeah, not much to those in general. All right, so moving on to the next thing that you can make coins and it's kind of easy I'd say it's also gonna be squad battles. All right, so squad battles uh, For me for me. I mean, I think it's very very worth it. I mean, I don't play as much but You get solid rewards. So as you can see uh, Going you know here you get already 750 coins and that's not even if you play one full game on superstar basically uh, semi pro gets up to 1.5k semi pro 2 is 3k I'm um, blocking it right now, but that's what it is. It's 3 point, sorry, 3k, and this one is 4k. Pro 3 is up to 7.5k already. Pro 2, which is 10k. Pro 1 is 12k. And it's not like you're just getting, okay, the coin, you can say, oh, it's not really a lot of coins. But the, the way I can spin it on you is the fact that those packs are tradable, and you can get a really good pull, and then you even make more coins. And I guess what? Even if you don't get a really good pull, you could sell those goal cards, because I'm going to get that, get into that in a second. Goal cards, especially 83s, have value so yeah i mean i would say that i mean these are definitely good rewards squad battles always is a good way to make extra coin and uh it could really be huge for you it could really be huge for you so we got pro one i think that's like probably the most realistic though for most people because once you get to like elite three it's a it's a lot it play you have to play a good amount of games right you probably play at least 10 10 games at least i would say uh maybe a little bit less uh, on on uh, superstar and max out Elite 2 forget it. You really got to play a lot uh, But definitely like, the pros are realistic to get into I'd say uh, Pro 1 is, is even 12k and then if you got to Elite 3 somehow you'd be really looking good But I mean not not much of a difference for sure So Pro 1 would be definitely fine and, and also Pro 2 would be fine. So there you got squad battles uh, Then we have hut challenges again or not not very viable. Uh, you usually look at the event one. Do you want to look at? I mean, your Dells usually get a couple hundred coins per. Uh, MSP team challenges here as well. Uh, you know, sometimes you get coins. So here you go, right here. You have 225 coins, 225 coins, 225, 225, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. And there you go. So, I mean, just some extra coins. Nothing crazy, but that, that, that's just some extra ways. Uh, then the MSP challenge, yep, 225, 225, 225, 235, 235, uh, 250, 250, 250, 225. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that is just, again, extra ways right there. So, again, all these do add up. Then, of course, Rivals, that's a classic one, guys. Rivals is definitely a classic one. So, as you can see right here, Rivals, I mean, I'm a Division One Andy, so basically, what I could do if I really wanted to I finished in platinum last week because, I mean, look how many points it, it takes. 29k, but uh, if I really wanted to, instead of taking the ultimate packs, a mega packs, which I always do untradeable, I always do untradeable, content, perspective, but if you guys really wanted to save up for a specific player, and you wanted to make a player, and you're like, oh, I need 83s, or 84s, or 85s, well, honestly, the best way to probably do that is take coins, and if, I mean, Division 1 platinum, I can get 67.5k coins, which is definitely a lot, so... Uh, and I believe you can get that as well in other divisions. So, I mean, it goes up as well. If I'm in Division 1, 80k, and then ultimately it would be literally 100,000 coins, which is definitely probably a smart thing to take. But I think most people take the packs just for the fun of it, right? Because, I mean, packs are a lot of fun, right? Everyone loves opening packs. So, yeah, I mean, definitely not a bad option. So, yeah, I mean, that is what I would say about Rivals. Rivals is definitely a huge way to make extra coins. I mean, 
let's put it like this. From what I just mentioned to you guys, essentially, you can probably make at least 100k per week by just doing what I've told you already. Uh, again, if you, that's if you take coins from rivals, which again, is not, not a, you know, everybody does that, right? I understand. But if you really want coins that bad, it's definitely a, a viable way. All right, so that's rivals right there. Moving on to the next thing. The next thing is going to be hut champs, all right? So hut champs. Now, what, what am I talking about when it comes to hut champs, okay? So hut champs, uh, basically, the way you can make coins from hut champs is, yeah, the rewards, but here, I'm going to go into it right now. So if you go to the completed seasons, rewards aren't too exciting. Oh, here's my reward. They just came out, obviously. I'm, I'm claiming my rewards now, which I just got. An ultimate elite pack and seven hot jams collectible. So pretty nice rewards there. But regardless, here we go. So as you can see, there's no coins in these rewards, right? But if you think of it like this, so if you finish with even, let's just say, seven wins, that's three hot jam collectibles, four wins, right? That's that's nine wins. Okay, sorry, nine wins, that's four collectibles. So what I'm gonna explain to you is how you can kind of turn that into coins, right? Because uh, right now there's no coin value. Yeah, you have elite player pack, which is again a tradable. So that's coins right there if you pull something good, or you just sell your goal, your gold players that you get from that. So, but the other thing that I would say about hut champs, okay. So the next thing I say about hut champs is the sets, right? So basically, what I do every week, every week, I made it already in my uh, my hut champs like best option to take or whatever. I would say that making these don't make the players unless there's like one you think is unbelievable do these all right so the ultimate choice pack is the best if you don't have enough for that i would even say doing the, the jumbo elite player pack is probably the best uh thing to do i mean because i know not everybody gets four even or five so the next thing next best thing would be probably three which i think is only five wins or something so yeah i mean three right there for jumbo elite player pack i think it's 1180 pluses which again have value and if you get 83 that's like seven eight k right now so yeah, that's really, really huge, I'd say. So, I think you can turn Hut Champ rewards into coins. So, yeah, that's what I would do for Hut Champs, all right? So, moving on to some of the next things now that you can possibly do for coins in this game. And, and again, I mean, there's really... Uh, you start running thin, for sure, on ways to make coins. But what I would say is Hut Rush is still kind of a thing. It's, it's not great, that's for sure. I mean, they give a, a few coin rewards in them. Not anything crazy but i guess if you're really looking for like extra extra coins like in any possible you know turn but uh here is the rewards okay so i mean I, there's a thousand coins right there uh there's 500 coins right there so there's 1500 total so far 1500 uh then you have that's it 1500 coins so again not not much for sure i'm not trying to make it seem like rush is really a great way to make coins but uh, that is definitely another way if you want to make, I guess, an extra 1500 but yeah, not not great. That's for sure. Not great. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, okay? And then the next thing now, guys, the next thing, all right, is going to be, okay, is going to be the auction house, okay? And now here's how you can make a lot of coins from the auction house, all right? So we talk about this. I always talk about this. It's going to be the 59th minute method, okay? So it's always a huge, huge method. So again, go about your coins so let's just say i only had i don't know let's just say i had 100k coins total okay let's just do that for instance for argument's sake and then we can go to the 59th minute here okay and once you get to the 59th minute uh you'll be able to you know kind of see some steals that pop up right away and again when it comes to this you gotta know the market that's the thing it's kind of just you know writing down cards and how much they're worth and how much you're seeing them go for so then you know when to actually pounce on a card and to buy them that's a really important thing okay so right now as you can see i'm at the 59th minute and i should be went up for 100k but if you want to go place bid back out and then refresh and then you'll see cards that pop up like this cali grin just popped up Sheaver just popped up as well uh, and then this one you just refresh again Tyson just kind of Kind of new, but not really because that was already up. But if you just keep refreshing, cards will pop up. Uh, Old Mark just popped up right there. Wheeler, uh, Bergeron, Kachuk. Or sorry, no, mo mostly Bergeron. So then you just place bid and you keep refreshing, and then eventually cards pop up and you will see if there are any steals, all right? So that's just kind of how it works. Yandel, that's not a steal, but <laughs> that's just uh, how it is, right? You can kind of learn how much gold cards go for and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's one way. But another thing that I want to mention to you guys as well. All right, so a new event's coming, right? So I want to tell you something right now. I would hold on to your higher rated cards if you have any tradable and you feel like you want to sell them because events like this, so this event right here, uh, of course, if you trade in an 86 overall, you can get 
three collectibles, but I'm assuming next event could be a little bit different, right? And if you figure 86 pluses could go for a lot more, right? So right now they're not going for much at all at last check. Uh, so let, let me just go to the buy now maximum. I, mean, I believe they're going for like 30K, maybe a bit more, but uh, pff, less than it, it looks like, which is really, really cheap in my opinion, especially if the next event is, you know, going to be really good, which we assume it is because the holiday usually, holiday events usually are good. So yeah, they, they are going for a very, very, a very reasonable price right now. So if, if you really want to, I'd stock up on uh, 86s. They're going for about 25K. They could go for a little bit more potentially, depending on how good the event is, but yeah, they go for around 25K-ish. Uh, so yeah, I mean definitely something to consider. I mean these these definitely have value. So Renski's 25k, that's that's pretty good. I think honestly the 87s are almost almost more interesting to me because they're really not going for much. 87s are very cheap. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much it though, guys. That's how to make coins December edition. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully it helped you out I'm trying to make some coins. If you guys enjoyed this video though, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique 3 es and join the Discord to talk to me, follow the subscribers of the channel. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching!